one of the reasons I first came to New York was the Chrysler Building. So to be actually here having an exhibition in the Chrysler Building is pretty exciting. I'm Marco Liccio, I'm from Melbourne, born in Benevento, here in New York creating some work. So the first time I got here was quite overwhelming because looking over the city for somebody that's interested in, in cityscapes, there was just so much city. And it's the first time I actually doubted if I could you know, accomplish anything. Doing all this stuff on site, it, 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 it takes a lot more effort than say taking a photograph and working from the photo. But you really lose the um, engagement with the subject. When you take the photograph, it's already flattened for you. You, you know, the perspective's worked out. You don't have the interaction or the sounds. Sometimes it can be distracting because you might be painting and all of a sudden you'll have people, um, you know, just kind of get in the way of the painting. When I was painting the Brooklyn Bridge image the other day, you know, there was little kids getting in the way. Uh, and sometimes it's really fun chatting to a, a child every now and then. Uh, 20? Yeah, maybe more. Maybe more. You paint? Do you like painting? It's actually fearful going out and painting in public. There's actually a, I have this uh, fight or flight response. I get that anyway when I come to New York. The first day I just want to leave. I don't know why, but I have this almost uh, primitive response to, I gotta get out of here. Just because it's such an assault on the senses. Whenever I go to do it, I have to psych myself up for it because without, like I'm not, I don't see myself as a performer, but it's a kind of a performance because you're out there in the public. And so in New York, I'm lucky because I can pick spots where sometimes I don't mind it if a lot of people are watching me, then other times I can hide away a bit more. Painting on the streets takes a lot out of you. It's physically, you know, you're carrying the canvas. So I'm carrying these huge canvases, um, you know, onto the subway. And sometimes I'm holding them like this, you can hardly see my face. I'm trying to fit them in the subway. Uh, but I kind of like the idea that they're actually painted on site. And so they're like artifacts. I think in New York, they are generally so supportive. So um, they're encouraging. They almost will you on. So it's like, you know, well done. Because I think, I think they love the fact that you love their city. They're kind of supportive of anyone that's trying to do something with their city. In part, it's a bit like you're part of the entertainment for everyone. And then on, on, an, uh, on the other hand, um, they're really inspired by what you're doing. There was a woman who walked past while I was painting at Grand Central and she yelled it out. She said, you're inspiring me. I thought, wow, you know, how cool is that, you know? Um, it makes you feel pretty good about what you're doing. Um, and in New York, you get the feedback. It's no longer now fearing if I can do it. It's now like, what else can I do? Okay, you know, like I've done this view from downtown looking up, I've done this. And now that the, those challenges that were there initially are over and the fear is over, what can I really do with this? The idea that you can contribute something important to the history of American art. And that sounds like a big, grand, ambitious um, statement, but that's why I'm here.